Organismal interactions are highly diverse in nature, ranging from antagonistic interactions like predation to mutualisms and occur across the entire tree of life, from bacteria that interact with plasmids to plants that interact with animals and fungi. There is evidence that biotic pollination systems evolved from ancestrally antagonistic systems where insects like beetles, thrips or true bugs were feeding and mating on flowers. In this hypothesis, insect flower pests can become useful pollinators during the curse of evolution. Botanists call this antagonist capture, meaning that plants are able to turn a harmful insect into a pollinator through evolutionary adaptations in their flowers or inflorescences. While evolutionary scenarios involving an antagonistic origin and the subsequent change to a mutualistic pollination system are intuitive and appealing, Evidence for such scenarios is scarce. During fieldwork on the pollination biology of the plant clade Caladia in the Aracy family, which was considered to be exclusively pollinated by beetles, we found one species, namely Syngonium hastiferum, to be pollinated by plant bugs. Interestingly, plant bugs also occur as flower visitors in beetle-pollinated aeroids but only as pests that eat pollen and flower tissue and thus damage the plants. Studying the pollination system of this unusual species, we found that Syngonium hastiferum differs in several flower and inflorescence traits to closely related but beetle-pollinated species. Measuring the temperature of the spadix, which contains the male flowers on the top and the female flowers at the base, throughout the three-day flowering cycle, we found that flowers of Syngonium hastiferum warm up in the early morning hours through a process called thermogenesis and at the same time emit a strong floral scent attracting pollinating plant bugs during the day. In the beetle pollinated species these processes take place in the evening and accordingly pollinating beetles are attracted during the night. In addition Syngonium hastiferum lacks the usual food bodies for beetles and the surface of the pollen grains has also changed from smooth and sticky to spiny and powdery, which is what makes it possible for the pollen grains to adhere to the plant bugs. Here you see a time-lapse movie showing the three-day flowering cycle of Syngonium hastiferum. On the first morning of Antesis, the spater partly opens to reveal the apical portion of the spadix that comprises the male flowers. The basal part of the spadix, which bears the female flowers, remains surrounded by the inflated lower part of the spade to form a pollination chamber into which plant bugs enter. At the times of combined scent and heat production, high numbers of individuals of only a single plant bug species arrived. The plant bugs entered the pollination chamber and crawled over the female flowers. Thereby, they transferred pollen acquired during previous visits of an inflorescence in the male face onto the moist receptive stigmas. The bugs remained on the inflorescence until the morning of the third day to mate and feed, exiting and re-entering the pollination chamber frequently throughout the day and the night. The male pollen extruding phase begins in the morning of the third day of antesis, when the spadix heats up again but does not release any scent detectable by the human nose. During the male phase, the distal part of the spade wilts, turning from green to white and usually abscises, while the inflated pollination chamber remains intact and slowly closes. The plant bugs leave the chamber and move up to the heat-producing and pollen-extruding male portion of the spadix, where they feed on the male flowers, in particular on the anthers. Large amounts of echinate pollen grains are extruded in pollen strands, which soon lose cohesion. The now powdery pollen grains drizzle down from the male flowers and adhere to the body surface of the niella bugs. The plant bugs, heavily dusted with pollen, leave the inflorescence between sunrise and 8 o'clock, potentially being attracted by other female face scented inflorescences of Syngonium hastiferum. Collecting and analyzing the floral scent of Syngonium hastiferum, we found that there were also significant changes in the composition of the floral scent, which is crucial for attracting the plant bugs. While inflorescences of Syngonium hastiferum smell similarly intense as those of beetle pollinated aeroid species, their scent is composed of other chemical substances. 
We have discovered a previously unknown substance as the main component of the scent of Syngonium hastiferum. The unknown compound was decoded using nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, paving the way for another important step in the study, the chemical synthesis of the new natural substance, in order to be able to test the attraction of the substance to the plant bugs. In Costa Rica, this synthetic product has attracted as many pollinating bugs as the plants in fluorescences. We showed that this substance is solely responsible for attracting the plant bugs and we named it Gambanol in recognition of the tropical field station La Gamba in Costa Rica where the new pollination system was discovered. This is the first known case of a specialized plant bug pollination system and provides clear evidence for the hypothesis that the adoption of antagonistic florivores as pollinators can drive flower diversification.